Hi everyone, Renee here, and today I have for you my October beauty review. So I've got a little bit of everything. I've got makeup, skincare, hair care, body care. So let's get started. So Bobbi Brown's 25th anniversary limited edition New York palette because come on. There are three palettes, London, Paris, and New York, each showcasing very iconic makeup looks for each city. I'd say she got the New York one down. We're definitely more into the browns than the brights, but beyond the packaging, this palette, the eyeshadows, the blush, I love every shade in here. It's like everything I would use the most in one handy palette. Got, sorry, I also got Bobbi Brown's Lux Lip Color in Downtown Plum. I've been wanting to try these lipsticks for a while because I've been hearing so many great things about them. This lipstick formula is pretty outstanding. It is so creamy and so pigmented. It's, it's like you're wrapping your lips in butter and silk. It's, what I love about this color is it's actually a brown toned berry. I love berry lipsticks, but a lot of them tend to run more on the pink tones, which just doesn't actually look good on me. It's not really flattering, so this is perfect. The other lipstick that I have is the Ayope Dual Lip Blender from Aritom. I think this is shade 03. They actually came out with their version of the dual toned lipsticks, um, but I actually prefer these formulas to the Laneige ones. These are actually easier to apply. The formula is so much more creamy and non-drying. I also like the fact that the pigmented part is on the inside and then the outer part is just a clear balm. So it really does give a nice true gradient lip. This is definitely too pink for me. I wish I got the coral instead. But despite being very moisturizing and like a balm, this is pigmented and I feel like it has really good lasting power. I also want to talk about this Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. You know, I'm all about makeup that's also skincare, and I love Milk Makeup products. Um, I love everything about the company, what they stand for. I love their packaging. There are a couple of things that are really special about this. One of them is that this is completely preservative free. There's antimicrobial silver in the container that holds the formula, which prevents oxidization and will keep this fresh for two years. So as far as how this performs, I love it. This is exactly how I like my complexion makeup to be, which is very natural looking. Looks like your skin, but looks like better skin. So it's also got a dewy finish. I'd say it's, this is technically like a tinted oil. This is um, like an oil foundation. You can definitely feel it during application. It's best if you use your fingers. That's how I apply it. But it's almost like you're applying an oil. It doesn't have the same feel as what we're accustomed to when it comes to complexion makeup because it's not laden with silicones. So you don't have that kind of slip, but it still applies well. This has a light coverage. It definitely evens out the skin tone. It just doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. The oils in here are orange peel, olive, avocado, jojoba, grapeseed, and vitamin E. I think this is perfect for the fall winter dryer months, but it's not that heavy. I think the one thing you have to consider when using this, especially during the day, so make sure you have sunscreen on, you have enough sunscreen on because there's a good amount of citrus oil in there. And now on to skincare. Oh boy. So this is the Herbivore Moon Fruit Super Fruit Night Treatment. So like with a lot of products out there, whether I like it or not, there's going to be a lot of people who's got a complete opposite experience than me. I think this is definitely a very polarizing product. I mean, I love Herbivore Botanicals. I love their Phoenix Oil, their Rose Mist. I love that they're natural and cruelty free. I was really excited to try this product. This is kind of a confusing one. I'm not fond of ambiguous products. Don't get me wrong, I love multifunctional and multitasking products, but this one is just ambiguous. Um, it's a night treatment, so to me that should mean you can use this in ways that might suit your particular skin type. Or you can just play around and it's open for interpretation and it might suit you this way and someone else another, using it another way. So I have tried this a few ways. As a sleeping pack, as just a night cream on its own, as a night cream mixed with oils and sandwiched between other nourishing products, none of those ways worked for me. So there are a couple of things here. I mean, this formula has aloe vera, hyaluronic acid, it's hydrating, but it also has some occlusive moisturizers like shea butter, kokum butter, and then it's got a bunch of essential oils and it's got antioxidant extracts. In the jar, it feels gorgeous, but once you put it on your skin, it's actually quite um, mattifying. I'd like to say it feels almost like a clay. It doesn't spread easily at all. In fact, it balls up everywhere. It's hard to get an even coverage. Even when you apply very little bit of this, it tints your skin purple. I mean, you end up looking like a bad experiment in the Willy Wonka factory. 
the amount required for this to not show up on my skin is so little it doesn't cover anything it's just not spreadable the other thing is you know there is a fair amount of alcohol in this formula as well which truly has done absolutely nothing for the texture of this product this is a very drying product on me in fact the last time i used this my skin started to stink so that's kind of where i draw the line when that happens i'm done this product has saved my skin this month. We've been having some seriously drastic changes in weather here and all of a sudden I'm just feeling it so much. I feel so dry. So for those of you who don't know, Arborian is a brand that marries French and Korean skincare, which I love. So this product is from their lotions line. I've tried every single one of them and this by far is the most hydrating and moisturizing. So the key ingredient here, of course, is ginseng root extract, which is really well known for its moisturizing abilities, but also for its crazy nutritional value. Ginseng roots pull all the good nutrients out from the soil. This also has a lot of wild yam root extract, which again is great for moisturizing, but it also has licorice root, so it's great for redness. This is indeed a milk. It is very, very milky. It's very watery and thin and light, but so, so moisturizing. This gives the same, if not even more moisturization and hydration than a lot of more emulsive creams. In addition, it has this amazing ability to just transform your skin into like velvet. If you have any kind of dry texture on your skin, flakiness, rough patches, this will get rid of it. So the way I use this is the first moisturizing step, like an emulsion after serums. A lot of people may feel they don't need to layer on anything else after this other than sunscreen. For me, I definitely layer a cream over it. I think during the dry winter months, if you have oily combination skin, this will give you everything you need. For dry skin types, this is an absolute dream. It will sort everything out. So what interested me in Labiat's Lotus Total Recovery line is the fact that the key ingredients from this all come from the Lotus plant. This brand stands for Laboratories of Nature. They are a naturopathic skincare line that uses botanical ingredients. So what's really unique about the Lotus plant and why it's so great in skincare is because it has this ability to mimic mucin. So it's like a botanical mucin, which is such a great humectant and is so good at hydrating your skin. This Total Recovery Cream is like Water Rest meets Josean Dynasty Cream. And the textures are extraordinary. I didn't expect it at all. This is like the Josean Dynasty Cream, not just in its texture, but in its incredible ability to keep moisture in your skin all day, all night. Say if you're having a hard time getting your hands on that, you need to get this. This is more like a gel cream. There's also a light fragrance that's actually really, really mild and pleasant. I have a favorite body wash I want to share. These ones are from Renz. I think these are the only two scents that are available. Um, this one is the Neroleum Grapefruit and this one is the Moroccan Rose. This brand is cruelty free and it focuses on bioactive skincare. Free of sulfates, free of petrochemicals, no silicones, synthetic fragrances or colors. It doesn't foam a lot, but it foams enough. It's still satisfying. I need my shower gels to be very invigorating, very aromatherapeutic relaxing. It's just got to be a delight for the senses. I've been using this rose one and it's just so calming and warming and it's not grandma rose. It's just this beautiful, beautiful scent. This uses cold pressed oils and distilled essential oils. This is just a great mood transforming shower gel that smells like heaven. It does not dry out the skin at all and it gets you clean. For my hair, I've been using this every single day. This is Aveda's Dry Remedy Daily Moisturizing Oil. This uses mainly Bariti oil from Brazil, which is very, very moisturizing, and 99% of all their ingredients are naturally derived. So we basically moisturize our skin every day, but we actually don't do the same with our hair, and we actually should be. So this oil I use every single day and is actually brought my hair back to life. This brings back the softness, the shine, the health. This absolutely has no silicones in it, but I still feel like it really smooths things out. So I basically just put a few drops in my hand and I concentrate on the ends. This is absolutely not heavy at all. Your hair just kind of drinks it all in. I never put this on my roots or crown, but this has never made my hair look greasy at all. Well, that's it for my October review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. I would actually love to know, what have you been loving this last month? I always feel like I have so much to learn from you guys, so please leave it in the comments down below. Um, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.